Hi, I'm Maddie Ray, and I want to share an encouraging verse with you today from Numbers chapter 6, verse 2, and this is what it says. It says, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord. Now, I wanted to share this verse today because this verse talks about a people that are choosing to vow to the Lord that they're going to separate separate themselves from the things of the world, the things of culture, and give themselves completely over to the Lord. If you're watching this today, I want to encourage you and maybe even challenge you to see if God is calling you to a place where you give yourself completely over to Him. I believe that when, as Christians, when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives, that there's a decision that we make in that decision of accepting Jesus to also cut ties with the world and to now say, my life no longer belongs to me, but it belongs to the Lord. Back then in the Old Testament, that group of Nazarites, they were very aware of the necessity to give themselves over to the Lord completely for what God wanted them to do in that time. The Nazarites, they were also called the consecrated ones. They were the ones that consecrated themselves to God, meaning there was nothing else in their life that was able to take and suck and draw from them to give that over to other things. They gave themselves only unto the Lord. They preserved themselves for the Lord. They protected themselves from things of this world so their life could remain pure and holy so they could be honorable vessels that God could use and I want to challenge and again encourage someone that's watching this that I believe God could be calling you to that place I believe every believer should come to that place at some point in time where we give ourselves completely over to the Lord where he has all of us where we make the decision like it says in Deuteronomy where we love the Lord our God with all our heart soul, mind, and strength. Every part of our being belongs to Jesus. You can choose at any moment in your life to make that vow to God and say, God, I vow to give you my whole life. I vow to consecrate myself to you. And I vow to separate from the world so that way I can live my life completely unto you. Let me pray for you today. God, I pray for my friend that's on the other side of this screen. Holy Spirit, I pray, God, that you would lead, guide, direct them, and draw them, Lord, to a greater place of consecration where they vow to you that they're going to give themselves completely over to you, Lord. Help them, Holy Spirit, to separate from the things of the world, the things of this culture, the things in this life, God, that they would separate from all those things that pull at them, and they would surrender every part of their being unto you God strengthen them be with them God and help them Lord to walk out and fulfill this vow that they make to you in Jesus name amen if you're interested in knowing more about how to consecrate yourself to the Lord or how to really separate yourself from the things of this world and live the life God has for you, I want to encourage you to check out my book that just released, Culture Cleanse. I have a whole chapter dedicated to living a consecrated life. I talk a lot about separation and holiness and really coming into the life that God wants you to live and cleansing yourself of all those other things that are in the world that might have tainted some of the things that God has for you. So be encouraged by this book. You can find it on Amazon. You can look it up there. You can go online to my store, thedwellshop.com. Check this book out. Share it with a friend. Get it into your hands. Get it into your heart so that way it can encourage you in your walk with God. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share it with someone or share it on your story. And as always, thank you for taking the time with me today. God bless.